try this. And we'll go hard into Fangs, I think. And we'll try Fang Overlord. we trading fix improve quality of life significantly yeah it's so nice being able to just like buy a random exalted orb to slam on gear like the cost of the exalted orb was never the issue of not wanting to slam stuff it was just needing to go to the trade site message a bunch of people hope that one of them responds to you it just wasn't worth the effort. And the same is true for most currency, but... Exalts are so fun. Uh, yeah, you still gotta go to the trade site for uniques. It's not too bad. People are pretty good about responding on uniques. Um... this first. What am I doing? There's an automatic trading house for everything. I don't disagree. I'm not really sure what the distaste for trading systems is. The reason you never sold most of your scarabs is- Yeah, yeah. Part of why I hated running Harvest, too, was just, like, selling the juice was a pain. Now it's just all, like, the, the non-stackable stuff that you're farming that sucks to sell. Like, I've been running a bunch of Delirium, and I just don't feel like listing Cluster Jewels for 20c. Would be great to just throw those on the exchange. Or, like, selling invitations. Take the Overlord. Rhino drop, and I guess take health to make the Rhino drop better. Yeah, like, you're still incentivized to, like, buy in Divines rather than Chaos because of the gold cost, but it's just so much nicer not having to wait. Or, like, not get messaged by people when you're in maps if you just list it. It's honestly the big thing that makes me not want to list gear, is I just don't want to be mapping and then get a message in the middle of the map. Or even between maps. Like, sometimes you just want to chain maps together. Leveling still sucks. Quality of life has kept you going so far. Yeah, I mean, leveling your second character in a league is usually pretty fast if you just get leveling uniques. I'm still on my first character. I started liking my character a lot more. Once I just stopped running shitty maps for it. Build idea might also be terrible. Maybe. 
Oh, that's what path of building's for, right? Make sure the numbers are sane. I killed a lot of characters this league in Path of Building. Mostly pre-league, but... I was trying to do some, like, Hexblast poison stuff with Blood Notch. I, I couldn't get it working in Path of Building, so I just gave up on it. Um... Oh, sure. Yeah, if you're trying new stuff. You can't see how it feels. I heard some people saying the same thing when they tried to roll, like, Locust Mines. Just didn't realize how miserable Locust Mines were. A lot of Stormcrawlers. Don't want to use this far over. Probably getting wiped here. <laughs> Classic. Maybe they all blow each other up except mine, because I actually have tower health. <laughs> Are these close enough? I don't think they're close enough. They do fight each other. Amazing. Nice rhinos. Yeah, we do get wiped. But at least we got mid-tower. Go, go, purple army! It's not really good into anybody, but... I just want to try forcing this as a proactive build. See if it makes sense. It looked so good last night. We were so poor and it was still winning. The strategy I like to use the most. I like to change it up a lot. Um, it really depends when you ask. Yesterday I was playing a lot of Marksman. Today I plan on playing a lot of Fang stuff. A couple days ago I was doing a lot of Fang, or a lot of Crawler Phoenix. A couple days before that, we were doing a lot of back rank marksmen. I said I was in Fang Fortress. I'm trying Fang Overlord. I had a game last night where it was really good. Avoiding jump trap. Yeah, I just don't have any interest in playing it. These are very high level crawlers. Ugh. Uh, no, it's pretty important to have comps that are going to be good as the game goes on. It kind of depends what build you're playing, too. Like, the, the crawler builds are going to be a little bit more AI-focused. And tend to fall off a bit later, but the goal is you get a bunch of points early and are pretty good at getting towers throughout the game to make up for it. 
The marksman comps are probably the best middle ground. Right, you're pretty good into the boss waves, but range is really important at dealing with other players. Then you've got comps that are the opposite, that are trying to avoid fighting the bosses entirely, which tend to be the best comps in the mode. Stuff like Worms, stuff like Backrank Marksman, Jump Drive. Um... I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube of the Marksman stuff. Yeah, lots of videos get posted every day, so you might have to scroll a bit, but you'll find stuff like Backline Marksman in the title. I don't think the arc simply because crawlers ruin my left flank every round. We'll deal with it. It is really strange getting portable shield as last tech, but it seems like the least important one right now. some of these purple units too. No. Uh, I don't know. Alright, protection aura? No. We're talking about a uh, photon? Nobody really uses photon in FFA. There's too much time wasted at the start of fight moving. You get way less value out of it here. Unless you're using it specifically for the boss. Like, armies are just much further apart. A little gold. I believe this rhino is uncontested. I think that's a good level to marksman. I want to get shield next turn. I don't look like a lobby where I really need to upgrade overlords. Yeah, let's just bank it so we can shield. This upgrade's expensive. But yeah, the upgrades on Overlords are just a little too important to want one that's just for bosses. Like, if you want value versus bosses, a lot of the time, just like, round cannon also works. Launcher Overload will also work. you just rather get one of the ones that are more consistently good, or more good against both the boss and the players. Nope, the waves are different. There's a bunch of different wave templates for each wave. And then levels get randomly distributed. 
or distributed based on there's like a total pool of gold costs and the levels get distributed up to that full total but like on wave six there is a wave that has overlords and a bunch of wasps and then plus some amount of gold worth of upgrades No strong. Classic death knell. Yeah, like I believe it's true for the boss waves too. So like the boss wave will always have these units. But here the Mustangs are level 9, so nothing else has a bunch of levels. But like, it could be this Mustang's level 5, this Mustang's level 5, or something like that. Uh, Marksmen are pretty good at clearing the bosses. Something like Marksman Typhoon, Marksman Vulcan, Phoenix Vulcan, Phoenix Typhoon. The reason behind not promoting the Fang. It doesn't do very much. A lot of the damage is coming from Ignite, which doesn't scale with levels, and the health is irrelevant. No, Carry Tarantula is not a thing. We don't get this back, right? Let me actually save this for next round. Oh, never mind. Didn't cancel. Because everyone else also has a Rhino drop this round. Did I win in the middle? Oh, sick. <laughs> Even better. Never punished, always lucky. Etc. Probably missling most of these crawlers. Just so that I can actually target the things I need to target. Going to level this. Maybe it didn't quite work.
Uh, not really. There's not that much on this side. Most of the army is going this way. Still winning. <laughs> okay. Well, we take those. Let's chase around the worm. a lethal number of points. Clean. I was worried about the Stormcrawlers being a little too good at shredding the fangs, but it's not really the right text for them to shred the fangs. If these had, like, Splash or Fire, it would have had a much harder time. Green was playing one-sided on the wrong side. They also did not get lost levels at all. It's round 8, and they have level 2 wasps. That's so sad. How does that even happen? <laughs> oh no. Wait, there's not even wasp counters over here. Huh. Is it grouping? I mean, grouping's fine. It's bad in the combat spells, but... There is something to be said about having just one big death ball. Especially when you've got Stormcrawlers and you want to pull everything one way so your splash gets more value. You can shield.